All right. Welcome to the Manic Maddie Show, where I, Maddie, discuss fun topics with my friends for your viewing pleasure. Today, we have uh, four awesome guests. Uh, below me, my uh, wonderful fiance, Lindsay Lane, who also hails from the Austin area. Welcome, Lindsay. Uh, and we have uh, Derek Flores, who hails from Galt, a suburb of Sacramento. And we have David Portnov again, with a nice view of his face this time. Happy to see you mm -hmm. both come from the Bay Area. And yeah. we have Matt Hurst again from uh, Ottawa, Canada. Welcome, all. How y'all doing tonight? Not too bad. Doing all right. Pretty good. Pretty good. Me too. Mm -hmm. Ready to talk about yeah. some fun stuff. Oh, yeah. yeah. Right, well, Excited. Start it off mm -hmm. with a little, uh, what are we playing? What are we watching? Oh, man. Kind of nothing. Because <laughs> the past, the past not, week has been like... Not a, much for me either. A lot of papers, a lot of school mm. stuff. So, like, I was playing a lot of Zelda. Lucky, okay. An unhealthy amount of Zelda. Um, Lucky. But I had to. I kind of had to put the burner back on it, and then Andromeda came out this week, and yeah, I, sure. I, I write for a couple, I write for a couple of game sites, so I have to uh, I have to play that for work. So I'm kind of trying to find mm. the time. Nice. But I, other than that, I got nothing. What'd you write those papers on? Um, one was Trump. Oh, nice. Okay. And his unique right. form of propaganda using Twitter. Mm -hmm. And then I had to do a presentation on superheroes and propaganda. Nice. Awesome. So that Sounds in interesting. Game. Yeah, it's a good mix. So it's, yeah, it's a lot of propaganda. Cool. Mm -hmm. So it, it, it wasn't too bad, but it's like I still have a massive amount of uh, papers next week and the week after. Mm hmm. So this is the really school, <laughs> and, and I'm done with yeah. that though, so I can just hopefully not have to do that that much more often. And then back to Zelda. And then back to Zelda. <laughs> Gotta get that I, platinum. I have a oh, new yeah, one. A Nintendo platinum. <laughs> I have a new one, <laughs> but I still managed to get in like mm -hmm. 18 hours of Horizon Zero Dawn. And it's working. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. I never mm. care about trophies or any of that, but I actually kind of want to try to platinum this so I love mm. Do you think you have to start the game over for that? <laughs> I was saying, do you, have to, do you think you have to start the game over to get the platinum? Why would I have to do that? I don't know. Sometimes there's like shit you miss and you can't go back and get. Oh, no. No, I didn't. Yeah. You can travel anywhere and everywhere whenever you want. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. That's true. Yeah. That works. Oh, cool. Uh, All right. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I've been uh, watching a lot of stuff. Uh, I've been watching Iron Fist. Uh, marathoned a bunch of it uh, over the weekend. Uh, is it as bad as they say? Through. Well, it's not... Yeah. As bad as they say, but it's not that great either. Yeah. I would have to say. It's, I don't know. I, at some point today, I, I just said, I, I don't know if it's worth my time anymore. I, I'm on episode ten right now, and I don't. Oh, really you might as well finish it. it. Maybe, <laughs> but I don't know. I don't know. I like. The I, last I need two someone episodes. to. Oh, okay. So are those worth uh, getting through? Well, I mean, yeah. if. If you want to read the rumors about what the defenders are going to be about, this is the most important season leading, season leading up to it. So it'd okay, be good to watch what's going All right, on. Yeah, I might want to finish that then. Is the defenders the next one that's coming out? Yes, yep. May something, if I remember correctly. Only eight oh, episodes. Oh, in May. That's yeah, I, maybe wow. maybe November. I don't know. I have to mm -hmm. I have to look it up, but I think May. It's yeah. pretty early. Is Punisher yeah. in the Avengers? Or the Defenders? No. Uh, no, I don't think so. No, he's that's got his own show coming out. Maybe his show's the one that's in May. Let me double check. Maybe. Uh, that makes more sense to me. I love John Bernthal. He was perfect. Yeah. Oh, he was that. amazing. That was really good. Yeah. That's cool. 
But yeah, I've uh, I've been watching Iron Fist, and uh, I just finished up Sing Street, maybe an hour ago. <laughs> nice. So that, that that was amazing. So you're filming like, some adventures oh. and some singing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe want to start a band. Mm-hmm. Almost, oh yeah. Almost similar in one of my favorite movies of all time. Mm-hmm. Which one was Sing Street again? Remind me. Is that the one with the kids? Yeah, the one with the the kids, and uh, they started yeah, the band. I want to watch that. I haven't yeah. got around to it yet. It's set in, I've, I've never heard of it. Set in Ireland. In Ireland. Yeah, yeah. Ireland. It's pretty sweet. Ireland sucked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they made it seem that was. Uh, I I would not want to live in eighties Ireland. That's for sure. Yeah. The message of Ireland. But yeah, uh, other than that. Uh, I've been playing a little bit of uh, Yakuza Zero, and uh, I'm just going through it. Nice. Uh, no real substantial progress there, but I've been really enjoying it so far. Um, I'm in on uh, chapter six out of twenty-two. Oh wow! Okay. So, uh, yeah, it's been pretty good. What is that game? I've never played any Yakuza games. Oh, Yakuza is. Um, let's see. How do I describe it? It's it's actually a lot like a JRPG because you can have like random encounters uh, on the street and uh, it, it's kind of like a, a brawler and a, a JRPG all at the same time. It's uh, it's really weird. I I don't know how I would describe it, but um, I don't know. I guess the best thing would be is uh, uh, to look up a trailer or something. It's uh. It's a, it's a really good game for sure, I would say. It's kind of like a Shenmue type thing, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's it's a lot like Shenmue. I, in fact, a lot of people say it's like Shenmue's successor. I mean, I've never played Shenmue, but I know the comparison. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Is it like uh, Sleeping Dogs at all? Uh, yeah, I would say the combat is sort of similar to Sleeping Dogs, but there's um, there there are no counters or anything. Okay. Um. Yeah, it's it's just a straight up brawler. You press square and triangle, square for punches, triangle for kicks, that sort of thing. Uh, it's pretty fun. the The story is really good so far, and uh, the the thing I like most about it is how the story is so serious, but then at times it can be absolutely ridiculous as well. Like um, like like you get this this guy in a random cutscene. Uh, his name is Mr. Libido, and he's just a naked guy. Well, I mean, not completely naked, but naked he's enough. practically he's <laughs> practically naked, and he's just dancing to no music. You, you just see him out of the the corner of your character's eye, and uh, that's it. <laughs> he's just there. That's strange. No purpose. No purpose. No, uh, he, he actually ends up um, being. <laughs> part of side quest you can do. So uh, you can build up your relationship with uh, him as a character. Uh, it's pretty interesting stuff. Nice. I, I haven't finished uh, his side quest yet, but um, yeah. Pretty good. Cool. Sounds cool. Mm-hmm. I've been playing still a bunch of uh, Rainbow Six and For Honor. Alternating between those two with my my buddies mm. on, on Xbox. Awesome. Still, great games. I don't I don't get tired of it. It's just like nice to just drop in and play a few rounds and not have to feel super committed to playing a bunch. Mm. I did buy a few operators with real money, which mm. is usually against my morals, but <laughs> it didn't feel like grinding. That good. Didn't want to grind mm. it out. All right. But uh. Yeah, those are awesome. So, so enjoying mm-hmm. those. Uh, and I just earlier today I tried out the uh, C sharp Windows 10 version of Minecraft, mm-hmm. which is it's good. It's, it's well, definitely well, has some performance uh, okay. benefits. So it seems a little clearer and cleaner, and mm-hmm. uh, I'm able to just play it at like max settings and max draw distance. It looks pretty great. Mm-hmm. I was gonna say you could probably see the entire map in one view. Yeah, yeah, that's nice. Last time I played it, it was like it was 
lacking in a lot of stuff, but I feel like they've, they've put it a lot. They've gotten it up to par, which is cool. Yeah, I've, I've never been a big Minecraft guy. Just, like, never got into it. Yeah, me neither. I played it back and was, like, alpha in, like, 2011. Mm-hmm. It was, like, nothing in there. Just base, barebone stuff. And then when it came out 360, I got obsessed and kind of always bounced back between Xbox and PC versions with different friends. I'm seeing this wall look like Minecraft blocks from my Oh, room. yeah. Definitely. I have Minecraft stuff in front of me, mm-hmm. but that's, that's supposed to be the stone. It's very tedious. Mm-hmm. Process, so. Yeah. Oh, by pixel. You have Enderman on the side there. You can't see it, though. Oh, let's see. Oh, no, yeah. Can't see that. You could turn the Surface Pro. Uh, oh, there he is. Yeah, there, he is. there he is. Holding there a visible block. His name and... What's the S that fall down? <laughs> there he is. Nice. Dumb stuff. Good shit. Derek, yeah. what are you playing? Uh, Mass Effect. Oh, yeah. How yeah, I, uh... I'm not, but I'm not hating it. I only played for about okay. three hours last night, and I didn't. I don't have Xbox, so I didn't do the trial. Mm. Um, I'm a little susceptible to advertising, so all the stuff I read ahead of time about like how bad the animations were and all this other stuff is yeah. more than I think it would if I didn't read that stuff. Yeah, uh, I'm a little upset about how bad the hair textures are, and that's stupid. But like, <laughs> I mean, it looks. Like what my hair looks like in this screen, where you can't really see the individual strands, and I'm like, we went back that far. Mm-hmm. Like I, I don't know. It's stupid to be mad at that kind of stuff. I'm definitely gonna give it a try. I mean, I paid, you know, fifty dollars for it, so yeah, I'm gonna give far. it a all. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's I 2017, and it's just, you know, it's supposed to be one of the highest quality AAA games. So you, mm-hmm. you don't, it you don't really feel- care about that stuff, but you just expect more out of it. Yeah, I, especially after seeing like Horizon and Zelda. I mean, Zelda's difference, artistic difference, but I mean, those things just look perfect. And this is, this needs that polish that I think Final Fantasy took that extra few months for. Yeah, yeah, and it's not like they had to release Mass Effect when they released. It. They totally mm-hmm. could have waited. I think it would have been better to release it in the summer. I don't, I don't know what's coming out this summer off the top of my head, but this is like, a bad time to release something. Nothing, as far as I know. That of War. Maybe. A, uh, Maybe. Maybe. That's the weird thing. It's like, I feel like there's so many recent releases that, you know, whatever, the third title that's releasing in that same time frame just gets screwed. Like, mm-hmm. Titan, Titanfall 2 got outshadowed by Battlefield. Ooh, and, yeah. <laughs> uh, whatever. And, mm-hmm. Yeah, totally could have spaced out all three Horizon, Zelda, and... Mm-hmm. Frickin' Switch that should have just great. waited till Christmas and released no. with the network with Zelda yeah. and with Mario. They should have waited. I don't, I don't, I don't think it. because they uh, they would have released it at Christmas and then they could have released all the games that they, they're going to have at the end of the year, like Mario, Splatoon, Mario Kart. Mm. And then, then Nintendo probably wouldn't have any games for like another six to ten months. So they good point. Out, they good point, Zelda, actually. Yeah. They at least have Zelda, and then they can mm-hmm. space the releases throughout the rest of the year. So by the end of 2017, which is like Christmas, people who didn't have, get a Switch yet can go in for Christmas and get like five or six great games, and then everyone else can get the game, by like, console, preach it, like talk about it to their friends and stuff, like, mm-hmm. like spread it through word of mouth. Like I've, I've had mine in my backpack all the time. And whenever like I talk to a friend about it, I just reach out and like hand it to them. Nice. And like, they're always just like, oh yeah, shit, this is super cool. Yeah. So like, by the end of the year, there's gonna be so many people who pick it up from Mario and Zelda and all that stuff. I want to yeah. hear about Pokemon. Oh yeah. yeah. I wonder what that's gonna be like. That'd be a while sweet. That will that will that will sell me a Switch for sure. Pokemon mm-hmm. Switch. <laughs> well, I mean, if that's the only place. Go ahead. Effect. <clears throat> Some people are thinking the problems with Mass Effect are because that super racist Bioware dev doesn't work there anymore. So I've all is racist, so they think it's like that's part of the reason it doesn't look polished. It seems mm. like a very integral dev, but a very terrible person. <laughs> Interesting. No, I didn't hear that. Interesting. Yeah. His name, I'm trying to find it. 
But yeah, he's pretty bad. I said this a couple of times in the last week or so online, and Bioware is not what Bioware was. Oh, no, I mean, definitely not. not. I mean, we lost the doctors and Casey Hudson. Yeah. And, I, I mean, I don't know that much more than those three guys, but that's, that's, a, that's a big creative difference. And who knows what happened when EA took over. I don't know how much control Bioware actually in there, mm-hmm. you know, pulling strings. Well, like, they had a great opportunity to, to, like, completely distance themselves from the first trilogy and still make a good exactly. Mass Effect game. And it sounds like they just made another Mass Effect game, made, added two new alien races, and they called it Lay. Like it yeah. doesn't feel like a new galaxy at all, and like that's why I wanted like I wanted like like ten new races. Like I wanted to feel like a completely different galaxy, like completely different mm-hmm. like aesthetically, or whatever. Like same combat, obviously, because it's Mass Effect. But, like yeah, like it's like I wanted it to, to feel completely new, and it doesn't. Is what I'm hearing, and that's like mm-hmm. the, the combat is a little bit different. It plays like, and I, this makes sense because they developed it. Plays like the multiplayer from three. Okay. Um, I I only started it, and only played the tutorial mission, but I don't like it. And I'm sure it's just the guns aren't as accurate because they're the guns you start off with. And maybe I'm not that good of a player, but it's it's kind of annoying. I died a whole bunch of times on the normal dif- difficulty in the first level, and I only the only power I got to start off with was stealth because of the class I picked, and it just it didn't lend itself to a good, oh, I can't wait to get home from work today and start playing Mass Effect. Yeah. Didn't have that hook. No, no hook yet. Huh. No hooks? All right. Well, cool. Uh, speaking of Mass Effect and old Xbox exclusives, uh, kind of brings mm-hmm. us to our first topic, which is does Xbox even need Do exclusives? They need Do they need them? My answer is yes, but oh yeah, I I agree as well. Yeah, yeah. but Exclusive I think they can skirt by okay. for a while just with yeah you know, so with many uh, of the more yeah. so many of my friends who aren't big mm-hmm. gamers just automatically went from 360 to Xbox mm-hmm. One because mm-hmm. that's where all their friends are. That's the network exactly. that they know. They're not going to switch. They're people don't like change. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. I tried to get my friends, a lot of my friends, to go to PS4. I bought a PS4 first mm. and I waited a year and then they all bought an Xbox One a year later. And I was like, eh, well. I feel like the online com- community I have there is a lot more active. Mm. Whereas I love the PS4 exclusives Horizon, Last of Us, yep. Uncharted. Buy the oh, PS4. yeah. All of them. Single player PS4 exclusives are the mm-hmm. only games to be fine. Yeah, Xbox yeah. not had as like I, I used to be like I, I had the PS3 and 360 last generation. Mm-hmm. Now I have the Xbox One and the PS4. And last generation I was a massive Xbox player. Played mm-hmm. everything there, all the experiences. Yeah, same here. Like, same here. I'm, I'm a massive Halo fan. Halo Five oh, just yeah, didn't do it for me. Mm-hmm. So I'm kind of a little like a little hurt by that one. Gears of War has never really done it for me. Mm-hmm. The other the other exclusives they have, I was really looking for a scale bound. That's gone. That's dead. Yeah, Crack doesn't come out. Like, Studios gone. No more Fable. Crack yeah, I was just gonna say that Fable is what is like Fable my is favorite great. of the mm-hmm. Xbox, and without that, I don't have any reason to buy an Xbox right now. Yeah. All of the, the exclusives are like either on hiatus because they're being worked on, or just mm-hmm. gone. And Sony it has God of War. It now has Horizon. It has like good racing games. It has like good platform. It has all this stuff in its catalog that's constantly drawn from, and it's constantly putting on really good exclusives and some shitty ones, but. And like it, they just have like like way better games to draw people in. Yep. And sure. indie, in my opinion. Yeah, I know. Uh, Sony drew me in with its exclusives. Uh, I was, uh, I was on PC until, let's see, probably around last September or so. And uh, I basically came for the exclusives. So, uh, yeah, they're the they're definitely important for sure. I bought the PS4 in- launch for No Man's Sky. I, of course, oh, knew okay. what that was going to be, but it looked fucking sweet. And then, you know, okay. played it for like three hours. Lindsay got it for me for my birthday. Mm. I was so pumped, and then I was like, eh, "I get it. Uh-huh. I'm done." 
That that that's, doesn't make that makes sense. But the, that's a I, whole other also, topic for another day. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's an entirely different topic. <laughs> I, I was glad I could get things. the the Last of Us, you know, HD mm. edition and play the oh, DLC, yeah, yeah. which that was a, another huge plus. I still need to get through The Last of Us myself, actually. Oh shit. Uh, I, I own it. I'm in the middle of a playthrough. I, I just don't know when to come back. I know everyone calls it the greatest game of all time, and it's amazing, but yeah. it does have a slow beginning. Yeah. Yeah, it does. I think it does. once you get past Bill's Town, it gets a lot better, but until you get there, it's it, yeah. takes, it, it takes a bit for it to ramp up. But after I got past that point, I remember like literally mm-hmm. not being able to put the control down, thinking about it mm-hmm. when I wasn't playing it. But until that point, I was like, I, I, I gotta wait to see what this is about. Mm-hmm. And it starts in Austin. All right. Yay. It does start in Austin. Really? Yeah, the, we have, there's huh. like a little article and it shows you like, you can go here. This is the street sign that they go to oh, when, okay. when they leave the house. I don't, I don't think I caught that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they start in Austin. Mm-hmm. That's where they live. That's pretty cool. The, the story mm-hmm. aspect at the be- beginning that definitely hooks me in. So I'm like, mm-hmm. I, I helps, helped me get through the little bit of the slow part at the beginning. But oh, yeah. Yeah. I always show people that devastating that opening? Yeah. Spoilers. Oh, Spoilers. man. You know. Everybody knows. <laughs> I've, I've seen that multiple times, and it even got me on my first play. It never play doesn't through. get me, yeah. Ooh. Yeah, it's tough. Yeah. Did any of you play Bloodborne and actually get through it? Because I thought it was a great game, but I just could not So close. Okay, I... I own Bloodborne, and it's sitting right here on my shelf, and I've owned it since September, and I haven't even touched it yet. It's so good. I, I'm waiting for the right time so I can just jump in and have that all be all I play. No, time is now. It's so... <laughs> now? It's all right. No, finish it's Last so of Us good. first. The time is now. I, yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Yeah. We <laughs> played it during exam season, and it screwed me over so much. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, I, bought I it. got yeah. my kiss... Go I got my PS4 about a year and a half ago, mm. and I joined Gamefly probably right away, only for a few months, mm. just because there was that handful of exclusives I needed to try out. And I I did fall in love with Bloodborne, but it, I've sent it back almost a week later just because I'm like, okay, I know I like this, okay. but I don't, I don't want to play it all right now. Eventually, I'm going to buy it. And I've seen it at a bunch of times for 20 bucks, and I just never, I still haven't got around to it. But I didn't think mm. it was that hard. I like the idea of, you know, the gate system and all that stuff and just, you know, you make a little bit of effort and push yourself a little bit further every single time and mm. but yeah, that's that's a game you got to you got to play when you get a chance. At least yeah. try it. Gotta get through the first two bosses. <laughs> that shit's hard. <laughs> yeah. Not as hard as uh, Dark Souls, but still fucking hard. <laughs> In my opinion. Yeah, I quit after the second boss I fought cuz I was just like couldn't didn't stand a chance, and I was like, I'd already like gone through the same path like a thousand mm. times to get there. They're more generous with checkpoints in that game. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> so can we get back to the Xbox exclusives yeah, real quick? Exactly. I, I was say this yeah, yeah I had a point I wanted to mm-hmm. bring about that. I always say, like, you don't buy a console because you want a new console. I, my, I have a cousin who always just like, when new stuff comes out, mm. he's so excited to buy it. I'm like, Relax. I mean, first of all, it's going to be way expensive, and you can get it a little cheaper. And then just wait for that game you want. Mm -hmm. I mean, when the first new consoles were out, all the really good games you could play on your Xbox 360 or your PS3, there was no no big reason right away to get it. Yeah. And I I want to play... What's the the Insomniac game on Xbox? Uh, The... Sunset Overdrive. Uh, Right, Sunset Overdrive, yeah. Yeah. I want to play that... I know I want to try Quantum Break, even though I heard mm-hmm. it's not that great, but I think it'll be something yeah, I, I enjoy. Try that too. But it, it's not enough for me to buy the Xbox yet. I, mm-hmm. I used to like Gears, but I don't have yeah, the need to keep you. playing that. I used to love Halo, but I don't know if I me like too. 343 anymore. Mm-hmm. It, yeah. it's, not, so, it's not a bad Halo game. It's The story is contingent on for you to understand the story, you have to read the books, which is just bullshit. Oh, really? Yeah. That's so it, stupid. It, it's an okay campaign. It ties in like, that heavily into the All books. these characters that are not introduced in the game, but introduced in the books between wow. games. And, like, introduced in podcasts and, like, TV shows and that kind of stuff. So you have That's to read all the materials mm. to understand it. So you go in, and I, I, I'm a huge Halo fan, but I don't have time to read the Halo books. Yeah, I <laughs> exactly. have no idea who the hell any of Chief's 
Master Chief's yeah. team was, and I had no clue the other team was. I'm like, okay, these guys are trying to hunt down the Master Chief. Fine. Well, yeah, one of them was Nathan Fillion. Cool. <laughs> yeah, I knew it was Nathan Fillion. I knew that. Yep. Yeah, like, yeah, same here. Okay, same here. Cool. But back to my counterpoint, I kind of still want to get an Xbox because it has backwards compatibility, and pretty yeah, much every game that I want to go back and play again is on there. I'm looking forward to, is it Game Pass? Is that what they're calling? Yep. Uh, yeah, the, I think yeah, so. Yeah, I, think, I mean, that's really cool. I mean, it's not much more than getting a, a 4K Blu-ray player, so might as well spend mm -hmm. the extra money and get an Xbox, and those are reasons sure. why I'd get one. So, you know, to answer the point, does Xbox need exclusives? Yes, but they might be able to get by mm -hmm. without it. Yep. See what happens yeah, when Scorpio cool. comes out. They need to make some better first party deals with third parties. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think they Sony, need to let go uh, that sounds right. I yes. think they need to Can let go of Gears and Halo for a while and let both those exactly. studios do something original. Sit for a while. Like Bungie left just so they could do something original and they mm -hmm. had a huge hit with Destiny. Let Yeah. Uh, let three four three do something else, let Epic Games do something else. Yeah. Get a goddamn freaking RPG with the story. You yeah. have to replace Fable. Uh, and I think both consoles could really benefit from an exclusive that is that has a multiplayer campaign. Or Maybe. Or multiplayer at all. Well, Maybe. Halo does, but not co-op, like couch co-op anymore. Yeah. yeah, Halo before was, that was the, it's, it's, the we'll ultimate have it. co-op Online and couch co-op Halo one through Reach, mm -hmm. or two through Reach, I guess. Good times. That was, I love Reach. <laughs> yeah, no, Reach is like my, I think my favorite. Yeah. Yeah, my my favorite for multiplayer, I think for sure. Yeah, so good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. My entire high school life. Yeah. Yeah, that's good shit. Yeah, ODST was probably my favorite Halo. I uh, I just like the way the story worked in that. More than all the rest of them. I understood it. I didn't forget things. I really hate how two thirds of the way through most of the Halos, I forget what's going on. Yeah. I have a hard yeah. time grasping it. ODST yeah. was pretty straightforward, and I really liked that about it. Yeah, that was great. Nathan yeah, I, I never got a chance to play ODST, so. Oh, that's I don't a know. Should really I, should I good go back click and play? game. Well, if you, get if, the you Master Chief, if you get the Master Chief collection, you can get the uh, mm -hmm. ODST DLC for five bucks. So you can play that. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah, they added that as DLC. The one thing All they right. didn't add was Reach, which I was very disappointed. Uh, oh, wasn't yeah. Reach three right. four three? No, Reach was. Oh, oh no, that was Bungie. Bungie. Yeah, Bungie. That was the last one. Last. Yeah. Okay, but Halo Four is on. The yeah, Master it's because anyway, it's, so that it's, doesn't matter. Master Chief is not compatible. Yeah, Master yeah. Chief there's no Master Chief. Yeah. There's no Master Chief in ODST. Yeah, is there? No. but he, but it's from Halo 3, so it's part of Halo oh, okay. 3, whatever. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Let's not make sense of that. Yeah, definitely not. No, I mean, like, the Xbox still needs exclusives, though, because otherwise it wouldn't be able to match up with, with Sony in any way. Because yep. people, mm -hmm. people aren't going to want to play X Xbox backwards compatibility games for the rest of their lives, right? They're not going to play mm -hmm. 360 titles. They want to play new games that you can't get on um, PlayStation, and if they don't Bring up new exclusive games, and even Nintendo is probably gonna get a one a uh, leg up on them. Mm, you got a yeah. point. It's, it's just like the way the industry is structured now; they can't not do it, but they just don't have any good exclusives coming over now. Well, they did have uh, Inside. Inside was an Xbox. Yeah, but that yeah, did. very quickly became. Or, yeah, yeah. That was a month time exclusive. Yeah, maybe? like I think it was a month. Not even like yeah, a month and a half. Yeah. <laughs> it was on PC. Yeah, it's tough for an yeah. indie game to stay exclusive. Definitely. Mm -hmm. And then, exposure. speaking of PC, I don't get their Play Anywhere campaign. Like, I understand they own Microsoft, owns Windows, but Windows, you're, yeah. I, I don't have that beefy of a PC, but I don't have to get a three or a Xbox One because I can just mm -hmm. buy all the games I want to play and play them on my PC. Yeah, same here. Yeah. Halo Wars too, where it's better on PC. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Mm -hmm. That'd be nice for the mouse. They're not doing themselves any favors. Yeah, but like it is a really like I I got one game back with uh with the play anywhere like I got Recore, and it's a hassle to download it. And like if they really want people to take advantage of it, make that an option with box copies too. Hmm. Like okay, like like I like 
I, I, I get that they could also lose money in that because people would be able to give just give the code away. away. Yeah. Yeah, but at the same time, like, like a lot. Like I'm still almost completely a physical gamer. Like, I don't do digital almost. Mm. Ever. Interesting. I. I'm transitioning over to digital. I was pro physical for a long time. Then I got a laptop, and Steam came around, and Steam sales came mm-hmm. around, and it kind oh, of yeah. showed me the way of digital. And now mm-hmm. I've kind of come back to the physical realm. Yeah, me too. But it's still, too. it's still whatever gets me the cheapest price. And yeah, exactly. I like yeah. which games by having to get off the couch and switch discs. That is very nice. I mean, that's a big, I, that's huge. a big draw. I don't think I've bought a disc-based game on Xbox One since Star Wars Battlefront. It's because we're sharing our Xbox. Yeah and, we, yeah, and if you have two Xboxes like we do, you can set your second Xbox to be your home Xbox, and you get to have a second copy for free. So. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, so we used to spend sixty dollars yeah. instead of one hundred twenty dollars, and we both won mm-hmm. a game, which is nice. I wonder if PlayStation does that. I don't know. I'm not sure. Haven't tried it. But yeah, the... I know they have uh, share play, but I don't know anything about it. Yeah. The one problem though is like if Xbox is, yeah. if you can't connect to the network, you can't verify that you own the game unless it's your home Xbox. Okay. So since her Xbox is my home Xbox, <laughs> and if Xbox is down, I can't play my digital games. I have to sign on mm-hmm. hers, but how often is that? <laughs> Very not that often, but still, I'd like to be able to take my Xbox into the desert, and play it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, Xbox we can plug it into. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. a lot more digital deals that PlayStation have as good as the digital sales as Xbox. Because I never really checked, but. Yeah, that's... they have PS Plus like sale deals like they do yeah, with the Xbox do. Gold do. deals, but Xbox just seems way better to me in the Yeah, like Bioshock so... Bioshock collection just went on sale for thirty eight bucks. So yeah. that one's looking pretty tasty. Yes. <laughs> mm-hmm. And I seem to see more uh C C D key sales on the internet from those sketchy third party sites for Xbox mm-hmm. way more than I see for PlayStation yeah. Four. Okay. Oh, yeah, I think I just saw what was the latest Assassin's Creed? You no, not Unity. What's the uh, Syndicate? Syndicate. Syndicate. Yes, I think I saw Syndicate for like a dollar on CD Keys today. Oh, not bad. Nice. Excellent. Even better than not bad. <laughs> yeah. Almost free. Mhm. <laughs> Might as well be. Yeah. Well, cool. Let's see what you got, Xbox. Look forward to <laughs> maybe some new announcements. Uh, who knows? Um, Bring back Fable. Yeah, right. Yeah, definitely. That would be awesome. Got to get it in the right studio. Mm, but I don't know yeah, what a good studio would be, though. Mm. I never played Fable 1. Was it terrible? I never like. I liked Fable 1. Fable 1 was uh, the first Xbox game I ever played. And oh. uh, I, I really enjoyed it. Yeah, my brother played a I, lot I of it. I thought it was good for the time, at least. Yeah. I haven't really touched it too much since then. Yeah, it didn't it didn't age well past the other two. Even that special edition remake, mm-hmm. still... There's, I can't remember off the top of my head what things that 2 and 3 did more to streamline, like, the experience and the health yeah. and the magic regeneration, but it was a lot better in 2 and 3 than it was in mm-hmm. 1. Less RPG-ish, more action, mm-hmm. but yeah, still yeah. streamlined experience. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, cool. Keeping with the game topics, I figured we'd jump over All to right. the PlayStation Vita. And the Vita. Will it ever yeah. have a successor? And nope. If it magically I hope does, so. I really what hope we, so. What would yeah. we want it to be? Let's hope so, and I'll buy it right now. Yeah. 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 <laughs> That's that's um, my answer too. I would I would love it to be like a switch type thing. Like mm-hmm. that kind of that's that's what would sell me on it. If yeah. if I could plug it into um, my TV via HDMI and just play it while uh, 
while I'm home, play it uh, yeah, away, and, you know. It doesn't even have to be like a home console type thing like the Switch. Yeah. It can be like, be like, you have your Vita, but then also a, the Vita yeah. capability is built into it. You a Vita with an yeah, HDMI for it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you can, can play you the Bluetooth, yeah. uh, a PS4 DualShock into it or something. Yeah. yeah. Literally Not just good. put an HDMI on the top and just yep, connect it by a handheld to the TV. Put it down, play like it would be. Yep, that's it. That's put it. a micro USB, a controller connection or whatever. Like, that's like the, the, they could, they could do it. Yep. Then mm-hmm. no back touch and some fucking triggers. Yeah. And you're good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No back touch and two triggers. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And no, and like, uh, uh, just a standard SD card memory, please. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Or even a Sony memory stick instead of the, mm-hmm. the Vita memory cards. Yeah. Just this, that way just they a, can still make money. Yeah, just an affordable yeah. standard storage that is a s- similar price to regular storage. <laughs> yeah. What can survive being run over by an SUV? Yeah, that ran over. Yeah, I ran <laughs> over our third third Vita oh. for our, our son James, and I had it in mm. my backpack and accidentally ran over my backpack. So <laughs> that's all right. We kind of. Uh, it still worked, really. It, it does still work. Screen. Yeah, the screen's just shattered. What are you going to oh. do? I guess I could replace the screen. I haven't tried the... You just the need a case like this. Oh, oh nice. yeah. That's a good one. See? That's yep, good. solid. That's what I need. I never worry about that. Yeah, I've got a similar case, too. Yeah, mine's somewhere in a drawer. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I love the Vita, but I just have... I was like super into it for so long, and then it just kind of. Mm-hmm. I don't. So really, that's I don't, all I need right now. I don't need to travel when I'm traveling. I have to drive, so. Mm-hmm. I. Don't really have. Airplane. I loved it on the airplane. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's great on an airplane for sure. Fuck yeah. Mm-hmm. But I pretty much only play Minecraft on it because the game selection. Yeah. Kind of meh. I want to go through, I guess, I want to beat Golden Abyss. I still haven't done that. It's, it's, oh, that's okay. a good one. Not bad. I, I haven't uh, bought a Golden Abyss yet. Oh, yeah. I want to it was try free to on PS that. Plus years ago, and that's the only reason I have it. Okay. The other one I wanted to try was Killzone Mercenary. I heard it was, like, the best FPS on Vita. Mm-hmm. Maybe. Yeah, me too. Maybe at some point. It's not going Yeah. Anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> I basically bought mine for Persona 4 Golden anyway. Yeah. Yeah. I, I've that's been getting through the... that a little bit. <clears throat> I've I played that three times now. Oh, shit. Nice. I'm, I'm still halfway through. Mm. It's so long. I bought yeah, it. Yeah, it's long. I Very long. It, and I didn't have time to play it, so I returned it. But I'm like, mm-hmm. I, I got to get it back. And I haven't played a JRPG in freaking forever. I was just going to say that's a JRPG, yeah. right? Yep. Inside. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It's as JRPG as JRPGs get. Yep. Yeah. It's like the JRPG. Kind of like right now, it's like at least. Playing an anime. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. It, exactly. It is like playing an anime. Yeah. It's, it's awesome. Which like is... I like whenever they make anime into like fighting games, mm-hmm. I kind of don't like it because some of them, are, most of them, are mediocre. I'm like, just make a good uh, JRPG yeah. out of this anime. Yeah. Made it. Like, like for, they made uh, an sort of online. JRPG and it was like oh, yeah, how much Sword Art? actually pretty I don't good. Know. I love Sword Art. There's like six Sword Art line lines. Yeah, there and are. There's a lot of them. There's more yeah. than there are episodes in season one. I'm just gonna wait till they come out with the PS VR Sword Art. That's the oh one. yeah, that's oh, the one to play. Yeah, <laughs> that's now be careful. You may never wake up. Yeah. Oh man, if you die in the game, you die in your life. You can't Crazy. Play. That'd be funny if they'd like fake that somehow. That wouldn't be yeah. funny. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, as long as people knew it was fake. Yeah. <laughs> or it would just be like a contest. I don't know. Somebody, just be like a contest. somebody would like have to know it's fake. Yeah. Or you, like, yeah. you lose your opportunity at getting the, the platinum mm. if, you, if you log off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Could work if it's a short experience. Yeah. yeah. Just smoke a disc. Mm-hmm. Oh, cool. Vita, let's uh, yeah. see what you got. Hopefully, maybe we'll hear what about it at E3. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I don't know, like, 
No idea. Really splitting the development and like messaging again, mm-hmm. and like should them on top, but they would have to put so much into the Vita with like development, especially if it's more powerful. Like that's mm-hmm. gonna take more money and like development time to develop new games for it. Mm-hmm. And the yeah, other so likely point. isn't gonna be similar to the PS4 because it'd be handheld. Mm-hmm. So yeah. it'd be harder to develop for. Yeah, they basically need to take like all of their first party studios and be like, okay, start a second team. Yep. And make Vita games also. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Which know. is why the Vita yeah. first place. Yeah, it's hard. Yeah. Hard to get. I mean Vita has some good exclusive. Like I have all my Vita games up there, but they're like Duncan Rapper games and Yeah. Like Vita Moors and Dona, like all JRPGs. They have like the God mm-hmm. of War collection, but I'd rather just play that on PS three, so it's like Yeah. Yeah, I look at it as my JRPG machine. Yeah. JRPG, yeah. PS1 Classics. Yep. Yeah, I played that Breath too. of Fire 3 and Breath of Fire 4 on there. Mm-hmm. That was, those were awesome. So I lied, mm-hmm. I did play JRPG. Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Doesn't count if it's on mobile, right? No, it does not. Fucking mobile. I'm so. Uh, that's the one thing that always Sony's like, oh, mobile's. Too much mobile. There, we can't compete with mobile. I'm like, yes, you can. Just fucking do it. Yeah, so definitely. easy. That's what somebody needs to release, though. Is a fucking Apple just needs to do it. Do one more tier of the iPhone that looks like a goddamn Vita. I'll buy it. Well, I had I had the Xperia Play. I broke it. Otherwise, I'd show it to you. I, I had to turn it in to get my next Xperia phone. But that thing. Played any PlayStation One game perfectly. I mean, I had to pirate the one there, but that's great. Sweet. That's awesome. Yeah, I, think, uh, I feel like Apple has to do it, or Google has to do it with their flagship phone, and the whole mobile market will drastically change. Yeah, but you'd have to charge more for those games, I think, and people aren't really okay with premium phone games. Yeah, look at Mario Run. It's just came out today in Google Play, and I'm sure nobody will. Play it longer than the oh, three weeks it takes, to, or three days it takes back takes to get past the first three levels. Like I, I put the ten bucks in, and I, I kind of fell off it because like I was trying to get every single like coin at every single level, and it takes a while. But like I got a, I had a lot of fun with it when I played it. Like it was worth it, hmm. ten bucks. Like I felt, and like if there were more quality experiences than that, I would play more mobile games. Yeah, but there isn't, and like this is a chicken or the egg though. If there was, if every phone had joysticks, would the games be higher quality? Or mm. do they have to start making it, higher quality games to warrant phones with joysticks? Make, <laughs> make higher quality games that don't try to be console games. Make them mobile games. Like, use the touch interface a little more. Don't put, like, a digital joystick, that kind of stuff. Like, that kind of stuff just is it's too clunky, and they're not going to figure it out. And, like, at putting joysticks on their phone, most people just won't want that because most people don't use their, pho- uh, their phones for games because they just, like, tap and play, like, a jewel or something. Yeah, I, I definitely agree. I feel like the games that are understand their mobile game and un- understand the touchscreen and that, yeah, platformers aren't going to fucking work and all this other shit doesn't work. But games that are like, oh, man. I can't remember them off the top of my head, but like just cool ass puzzle games and shit with, that make use of that are, are great. But I think it's still the problem is it's like people who play phone games aren't looking for a long term experience. So just yeah, the way I play mobile games is I something looks cool, I install on my phone. I either play it till I get bored or play it till I hit the paywall and then it's on to the... There's literally 30 things every week that I can try out, so I just delete it, go on to the next one. Yep. The longest thing to stick has either been Marvel Conquest of Champions or Final Fantasy Record Keeper. Nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Run they're, all, they're all based on playing for five minutes, you run out of energy, and then you got to put your yeah. phone away and wait. Yeah. Pokemon Go. Yeah. <laughs> uh, every time I play Pokemon Go, I I take it out and I'll play it for a couple minutes. And I'd say, you know what? I'm gonna go find my 3DS and play Pokemon there instead. Yeah. Yep. Definitely made me feel the same. The only good thing is it introduced more people to Pokemon. 
So you could say yeah. Geodude, people wouldn't look at you like you were crazy. Mm, that's very <laughs> true. <laughs> oh, cool. Um, yeah. Time for a food related yeah. topic. Food related um, topics. That's, that's great. I put, I put Taco Bell or. Taco Bell. Yeah. Or your favorite. Some, favorite. Somebody wanted to talk about Taco Bell. I don't know. I haven't had a lot of Taco Bell in my life. I remember that we jokingly started talking about it, and I said, yeah, Taco Bell's the best. We can talk about that. And I, I don't remember where I was going to go with that. <laughs> okay. I figured, I figured it was like, I, I decided, I changed it to be like, okay, it's Taco Bell food, or food your favorite bad. fast yeah. food, guilty pleasure, whatever. Why yeah. it's your favorite? What do you get? How often do you go? When do you go? I feel mm-hmm. like I get Taco Bell at least once a week. And I yep. get it. Okay. At ten thirty, after I forgot to buy dinner, <laughs> I just go get it. I worked at Taco Bell, and at night we would take the leftover meat and beans, and we put them in these tubs. And in the morning, we took like a spatula; they were just like a paste. The meat became paste, and we were just Ooh. like man. And then we use it in the morning. So I recommend not going yeah. to Taco Bell early. But that makes <laughs> sense. And she still and she still mm-hmm. eats there frequently, so can't be that bad. Yes, that, that doesn't bug me. I eat leftovers for weeks as long as they don't smell good or taste bad. I'll eat leftovers. Yeah, yeah they're very good. They're good. Though. Good about that. Okay. So. It's just gross doing it and seeing what it. Oh, I bet it. I bet it's something I wouldn't want yeah. to do. Yeah. My favorite thing was the beefy crunch burrito. Which had the flaming hot Fritos. Yeah, those are delicious. It was like a dollar. Actually, they had a Twitter campaign. And they brought it back because the, the Twitter campaign. And yeah, I think it's again. it stays on their value. Oh, it's not there anymore. I thought it stayed on their value menu. Well, they have a different version of it, but it doesn't have the flaming hot. It just has regular oh, Fritos. And it's regular Fritos. Not nearly as good, <laughs> in my opinion. Well, well, my favorite thing that's no longer on the menu were the volcano tacos and volcano burritos. They had. Spicy red tortilla chips and shells, but now they have the Dorito Locos tacos, so there's no reason to have a you know volcano nacho. It's pretty much the same thing, except for the Dorito taco shells kind of break apart too easily. I don't yeah. like them. I like them in the cheesy gritty to crunch. The better that way. <laughs> I haven't tried that. Oh, it's good. Yeah, I get the I'll get the hot or the or the nacho in the cheesy gritty to crunch. It's that, that's my go-to, and then I was going. I was all about the naked chicken chalupa for a little bit there. Now it's oh, that was delicious! I tried okay. everyone, like, everyone I know is like, you have to try it. It's not weird. It's just like having an inside-out salad. Yeah, mm. it's basically it's interesting. It's crazy. Already... It's crazy. Yeah, I know. I'm pissed. It's just a giant. I don't think tortilla. I got one person to try it. It's just a small tortilla-shaped t- chicken nugget with lettuce yep. and tomato. <laughs> if you've ever had like a chicken nugget salad or a popcorn chicken. Chicken salad, it's basically the same thing inside out. Yeah, it's actually relatively healthy, right? There's only only carbs. Yeah, the I, would, on the chicken. I mean, yeah. Nice. However, however healthy the fried chicken is, so it can't be horrible. <laughs> mm-hmm. I wouldn't say it's good for you, but it's not bad for you. Yeah. Good, sense. Better than the rest of the menu, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> well, as long as we're going to go down this road, because I remember this is one of the things I want to talk about. Taco Bell is probably right. one of the better fast food restaurants you can eat at. Calorie-wise, I mean, yeah, they got I would, more... I would agree. They got more vegetables on their stuff than most places. <laughs> as long as you don't stuff yourself and you eat, like, what's in one combo thing, mm. then you're you're probably around, like, six or 800 calories, which for a meal is not horrible. Mm. Yeah. They did the healthiest fast food place because they yeah did. they beat out Subway because of the bread's no good for you at Subway. Oh, um, it's bread. It's <laughs> bread. Well, of course it's bread. Bread makes yeah. you fat. <laughs> <laughs> no one told me. Bread tastes so good. Yeah, uh, remember when uh, six to eleven servings of uh, grains were on the bottom of the pyramid? Oh my god, that yeah. was the best. Yeah, I felt like yeah. doing everything right. I felt like it's healthy when you <laughs> ate pasta and rice. Mm-hmm. I'll let shove it in your face. That's crazy. I wonder what it looks yeah. like now. I haven't seen it lately. Oh, it's, it's got—it's not, it's not a pyramid anymore. It's more like uh, 
It's still a triangle, but instead of layers, Is it like a, a reverse it's pyramid or layers. Something? Well, it's not a reverse pyramid. It's got like blades. Oh, okay. Like that uh, instead okay. of. Okay. Gotcha. That. And there are different uh, ones for different body types or if you're trying to lose weight or gain weight or whatever. Yeah, I, I saw I guess it like that 10 makes years ago, sense. so who knows? I don't remember it if it's makes changed sense, since but then. It's overcomplicated. Kids, are, kids are, like learning this stuff in like third grade are going to be like, what the fuck is this? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. It's just like, tell me. That's a good point, too. It's like, bread and sugar, lay it off. That's all you need to know. Mm -hmm. The rest of yeah. it, you can eat yeah. lunch. <laughs> Uh, you can eat as much sugar as you want as long as you're okay with diabetes. It's fine. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Any yeah. other uh, guilty pleasure or favorite Let's fast see, food guilty places? Favorite fast food. Not food um, yeah, I, I really enjoy Buffalo Wild Wings. Just yeah. Every, Thank you pretty much that. every Tuesday. Uh, Half Price Wing Tuesday. Nice. Yeah, that's, that's my go-to. What sauce? I usually get the... Um, uh, buffalo dry rub, and, uh, what else? I go, well, I had the, uh, desert heat yesterday. That was oh, yeah. pretty good. Not too hot? Yeah. Uh, it's the spiciest dry rub they have, but no, it's not that bad. Okay, nice. I used to get the mango mm -hmm. habanero, that was, I love that. Okay. Those were pretty fucking hot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Gotta stop eating out too much. Save that. Yeah, milk. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I try to go once a week. Once mm. a week, fast food and a soda once a week, and that's... Yeah, like once a week is good. My... Mm. I do way more. <laughs> I do many sodas a day, but I've switched to all diet, which... Mm. I like just just as bad food. for you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I go with the... Uh, and it's, you know, it's less sugar, so... Shut that's up. true. <laughs> but, it, but it makes me want to crave more sugar, so... But then I don't eat it, so... Exactly. Exactly. That's uh, okay. that's another option. Yeah. But then I eat carbs. So yeah. Then I then I get that's the worst. Mm -hmm. I can't. I gotta get stop doing the carbs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The pizza. That's, oh, that's pizza. pizza. Can't refuse that. I grew up in Chicago, so the uh, occasionally mm -hmm. I'll get the. Lou Malnati's Chicago deep dish. They put it in. Uh, Ooh, that's a good one. They freeze it and put it in dry ice and ship it to you. Mm. It's really. Is it cooked? Good. Yeah, it's like half cooked, yes. and then you put it. Oh, in okay, the so you oh. just finish it up in the oven. Mm. It's fucking. That great. sounds delicious. Oh, so good. Austin's got some decent places. Connect and start doing some Zumba. With yes. Me. <laughs> Gotta love that Zumba. I did QA for that Zumba, and for like eight hours a day in the middle of like an office, I had a Zumba. Not <laughs> stop. It was terrible. <laughs> That'd be that a good was... job, though. I mean, totally getting shit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you don't have a with, choice. <laughs> out with the Wemo, you could like hang it from the desk and swing it back and forth. Mm. It would get like perfect. But you actually, with the Connect, had to dance and do the whole thing. Awesome. Yeah, I actually tried the uh, We Fit. Was that the name of that thing? Yeah, yep. We Fit. We Fit. Yeah, I, I yeah. tried that too. And I actually really got into the yoga, but I'm still scared to walk into a gym and sit at the yoga class. Like, yeah, I, I got kind of good at the We Fit version of it. I was surprised myself, but I still don't know I, if I could walk into a gym and go into yoga class. Sounds kind of weird. Yeah, I've never mm. done that. My own home where no one can see me. Yeah, yeah that's <laughs> as long as you do it, who cares, right? Who cares where you're yeah. doing it? Mm -hmm. But I guess it helps it always helps like sign up for a shit that you paid for and you're like, Alright, I fucking mm -hmm. paid for this shit, now I gotta go. And you're like, Fuck it, yeah. I'll lose the money. <laughs> 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 yeah, no. The Zumba's great though, mm -hmm. I, I gotta get to in that more. That's I don't. I don't feel like I'm working out. I'm just dancing like an idiot, <laughs> or playing hockey in the street. That's always. Oh, I miss favorite. that. Yeah, I got got a, got a nice goal for the for James, and I gotta buy some new rollerblades. Yeah, that's that's the way to do it. Yeah, I I used to play indoor roller hockey, and everyone used to make fun of me, but they actually have skates that are just like ice hockey. 
boots. Yep. Yeah, those things are the shit. And the wheels and the tiles you got on all like simulated ice so much that it's like I might as well have been playing ice hockey. I just wasn't on ice. Mm. Yeah. That was so much fun. Full equipment, same everything you do. It was only uh, four on four with goal instead of five on five. Nice. Only difference. I gotta find like a men's league that does that somewhere. Yeah, I would. That's on my. I would pay. List. All the money it would cost to get new equipment, so five hundred dollars, I guess, give or take, to do mm-hmm. it right now if I had one. Hell yeah! Well, I'm putting that on my to-do list. I'm gonna see if they, yeah. see if they mm-hmm. got that in Austin. Well, cool. Um, yeah. Last and final topic: Collins' last stand. Ah, uh, yeah. Holy shit! Last what a fucking Patreon. Those numbers. <laughs> That's insane. Wow, well, dude. I know it says on there per month, so does that mean that they don't count all the... Because like, you can do a one-time thing with Patreon, right? It all just counts. You can do it per it's video, I think. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's, okay. it's per month, so this is just for the yeah, next month. month. So next month, so there might, mm-hmm. half the people could just yeah. be like, all right, I paid the 100 bucks for this month, but I'm not doing it again next month. Yeah, okay. That's entirely possible. But Yeah, it will drop significantly, but still. Yeah. Yeah. Even still, yeah, I mean, that's a pretty sweet salary for mm-hmm. one month. Yeah, I mean, it could drop Excellent. by a third or a quarter, and that's still plenty of money. Yeah. Good amount of money to help him move, get a studio set mm-hmm. up, sit, live comfortably. <laughs> mm-hmm. I mean, if Aaron's going with him, she's, uh, I don't, she a nurse or medical assistant think, or whatever. I don't she's know. She's making a ton of money regardless. She's one of those two. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're doing just fine. Oh, yeah. I'm very interested to see what the videos are like, though, for sure. Yeah, me too. Yeah, uh, yeah, I'm going to be kind of like less produced. Lucky well, more produced, but yeah. like maybe less of him. But maybe like a video essay would be really cool. Yeah, yeah, video essays. I was thinking more kind of like how, what John Oliver's like, but you know, less talk showy, where he has you know one topic yeah. that he researched yeah. all week and he gets really deep mm-hmm. into it or whatever. You know, kind of like Colin was right, but sure. I feel like. I liked Colin was right, but I also missed how the conversation with Colin was just kind of him mm-hmm. ranting off the cuff versus yeah, a very – it was almost too prepared for me. But, I mean, I liked what he had to say. Yeah, stuff, me too. But when he yeah, started it talking, must be hard. Go ahead. I was just saying, I, I, didn't, I only saw like one of them where he was actually talking to the, the industry guys where he kind of went back to the conversation form. I think I liked that a little bit better. Yeah, I saw a bit of those. Yeah, and that's what I was going to say. It must be good. hard talking to the wall or talking to the camera. Mm-hmm. I mean, if I was going to do something like that, I'd have to have somebody sitting across from me, not on camera, just like nodding. That's a good idea. And looking at me just because I, having to do what we're doing now, if we did it over the phone, I don't know if it'd be as good as if I can't like look at all the boxes and mm-hmm. and have somebody to talk to. Well, yeah. You can react to people in the same way. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. Colin was right. It was no reaction. It was just a very prepared, informative mm. It's like a one-man show. Speech. Yeah, yeah it, exactly. Which is good and stuff, well, it, but... If he did like a video essay, he could still be paid, but he could take out the, like, the performing aspect of it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, I love that ringtone. Yes. Love The Office. Mm-hmm. That's, a, that's a topic for another day, for sure. Yeah. I talk about that all the time. I'll be there for that one. That's my... Uh, mm-hmm. That's a, it's like whenever you don't know what to watch. It's always on yeah. Netflix. No, for me it's Perks and Rick. Yes, that's Perks Rick's Rick too. We have a rotation. We go, like... we go, we'll, we'll go through a season of The Office, then we'll go through, not a season, the whole, all the seasons, <laughs> and then we go through all the seasons of Parks and Rec, and then all the seasons of Always Sunny. Yeah. And I'm doing Family Guy now. I haven't watched Family Guy in a while, so I figured, mm. why not? Me neither. Well, that's also another topic about like the kind of stuff I like to watch while I'm doing something else, while yeah. I'm cleaning the house, while I'm eating, while I'm – I don't have homework, but I used to have homework. Like when I used to do homework, there were things that I used to like doing because you can put it on, you know, not pay attention, and then yeah. not worry about like, missing things. Yeah, you know exactly what's going on, so you don't even yeah. have to really know what's going on. <laughs> you fall asleep to it because – Sometimes I can't sleep when I go to bed. And... Yep. That's definitely... Uh... Mm-hmm. And uh, those are all shows I can do that to, for sure. <laughs> yeah. 
Well, cool. We'll make a note of that next time. We'll talk more about our yeah, our reruns, our reruns, yeah. mm-hmm. Re- the reruns of the millennials. <laughs> <laughs> well, cool. Thanks, everybody. Mm-hmm. It's been a good yeah. This was fun. Yeah, Thank definitely you. no problem. Yeah, we'll do another it's one next fun. week and another one yeah. after that. Yeah, this is episode four. Yeah, right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, Man- Manic- 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 episode. You four. know better. You know. Better. Uh, you know, subscribe to us on our stuff. Maybe we'll put handles in there. Who knows? Uh, that's all Lindsay's job. I have nothing to subscribe to, so <laughs> nothing. Like me on Facebook. Uh, yeah, there you go. Request me as a friend on Facebook. Be my friend. Yeah. Well, cool. Well, thanks everyone. We'll uh, we'll see you next time.